Hey, this is Anthony from Epsilon. Watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Biltwell Lane Splitter Helmet, available at Revzilla.com. Everything old is new again. This is the Biltwell Lane Splitter, the next iteration of full face from Biltwell. We've seen the Gringo, we've seen the Gringo S, and now Biltwell said, hey, listen, for those of you that want the look and style that Simpson yeah, Simpson invented with this squared off Bane-esque jawline and cowl. We're gonna be able to do it at a mid-range. So what you're looking at, instead of carbon fiber, you're looking at polycarb. You're looking at really at almost a no-frills approach to a solid DOT, three pounds, five ounces, neutrally shaped helmet that carries a lot of style, but doesn't really invest in the fringes. Now, if we look at it, again, you're not looking at vents. You're not looking at anything over the top. You're looking at Batman villain, on a bike with a retro inspiration. And that's where Biltwell went with this. This is the matte black, there's gloss, there might be some graphics that come out that I haven't seen yet. I like it when I see helmet manufacturers take what's working in the market and figure out how to do different ranges. So again, it doesn't have to be $400, it can be in the mid twos, which is where this guy plays. Keep that in mind. I definitely have some pros and cons as we work our way through it. But before we get there, let's talk briefly about fitment. I'm gonna call it neutral oval. So intermediate ovals like my head shape, a little bit longer front to back. Neutral oval without being round is giving a little bit more room at the temple. So an Arai RXQ, you see some HJCs that play in this lane. You do see some built wells that play in this neutral oval. A Little bit more room to move. If you're super long and narrow, this won't work for you. If you're on the rounder side, this actually might be a better fit. Keep that in mind. Remember, use the size chart. We'll ship it for free over 38 bucks. And I'd love it if you click our logo, subscribe to us at Revzilla on our YouTube channel, leave your comments or questions, your feedback on the new lane splitter. Now, diving in. We talked about polycarb in the shell, DOT rated. That's the basics. That's how they're able to hit kind of what I would consider a mid-range price. Notice there's no venting. And I'll tell you, the interior guts, when I pull this apart, the EPS have big channels for air, but there's no intake. Now, you could rock it with the shield up and you're gonna get air in. It's gonna come in, circulate, and that's gonna come out the back. Notice we do have a venturi vent, and that's on the back side of these channels. And it is a fully removable liner. But again, there's no intake, even around the brow. I always wonder if these helmets, they could just orchestrate something matte black right down here along the brow just to get a little bit of airflow through the helmet. I know that Simpson's done that. It'd be interesting to see if Biltwell takes that feedback and iterates from here. If we look at the rest of it, you are getting airflow in down along the chin. It is not open and closable. It's open, it's foiled back. Again, it's badass. It's basically functional. It's a mixture of style and substance, more so on the style. Substance is gonna be middle of the fairway. Again, I'm not gonna dock at points because it's still not around that $250 mark, but I might tell you that I would like to see them improve the face shield mechanism. For around the $250 mark, if you're going to compare this against something like an Icon helmet, you're gonna see the fit and finish around the way the shield change or shield mechanism works and seals be a little bit better. So maybe this is an area they could improve on. But again, I know there's lots of folks that might wear this with goggles. There's lots of folks out there that are going to wear it in different positions. But again, it's just giving you that full face functionality. Notice you do have a basic locking mechanism on the side. And if you want to remove it or change it, it's not simple. There's going to, you need a dime or you need a screwdriver. So again, taking that into consideration, they do give you a water and wind gasket around the edges, but notice it's just on a hinge. It doesn't seal it or lock it back. It's a very basic component. So again, not the most heavy duty from a sealing standpoint as well. Keep that in mind. Now, if we look at it from the side, again, I've basically describe the entire helmet. Three pounds, five ounces, polycarb. Check it out as we get a, get a line around it. Remember, you do have that one vent along the back. Now I'm gonna grab my donut and let's pull it apart. So if I come over here and I pull it apart, it's a wicking lycra liner. Again, basics, it's going to be comfortable. Notice the cheek pad and neck roll come out together. It has a slight contour to it. It does have a cutaway for speaker pockets. If you wanna put a comm unit in it, you could do clip mount based on the way this neck roll is. You could also do sticky mount. That's not gonna hurt my feelings, but again, Basics on the inside, nice contour. Remember, it's a little bit more of that neutral. That neutral shape gives you a little bit more room. Same thing on the other side. I'm gonna move it over here. Removable chin curtain that you can add or subtract. That is up to you. That is personal preference based on time of year and how much you wanna seal off air coming up from the bottom. And if I start to pull the comfort liner out, you're gonna see a couple things here. First one is basic snaps along the back. And then when we get to the front, I actually really like that they did this. Notice it just comes up and it connects here between the EPS and the helmet itself. Basic Velcro keeps it in place. I'm gonna slide this over for a second. Notice here's my comfort liner. Liner. Lycra, quilted, basic style to it, wicking, mesh, pulling sweat away. Again, should be very effective. It's actually a more premium liner than I've seen in some of the Biltwell helmets, so I like it. I think it's a step forward. And if we look at the inside, remember, I talked to you about the fact that there's no intake vent, just an exhaust. But notice those big fins in the back that are gonna allow your wick 
sweat to wick away from your head into the liner, evaporate out, and hopefully be, sec be evacuated through this, this vent at the back. So what happens is at speed, you're gonna get the Venturi effect, which is an area of low pressure that absolutely is going to vacuum warm, moist air away from your head and out of the helmet. The only difference is not being forced through the inside here or forced through the top, but you are gonna get some air circulation through the chin, which you cannot turn off. So all in, what do we think? Between two and $300, I dig it. A few things they could improve upon it, but you're not spending the $400 mark where you'd go into something that originated this category with this OG Simpson style. That's the choice you're making, and they are the trade-offs. But all in, I'm not overly negative on the Biltwell Lane Splitter. I think they did a solid job bringing it to the market, especially that there's matte and a gloss version and some colors available. But I will tell you that matte black is in this video because matte black will dominate. The next step in your journey is click the info button, your desktop, your mobile device. Visit the product detail page for the Lane Splitter at revzilla.com. Read other rider reviews. You don't have to take my word for it. As always, we'll ship for forever 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at revzilla.com or 877 9455 Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us at Revzilla on our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with our opinion of the latest and greatest in the moto universe. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.